This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location in beautiful Miami, Florida at MetroConnect 2020. And I am here with Mr. Glenn Johansson. Glenn is the president and CEO of Light River. Glenn, welcome to JSA TV. Dean, thanks very much. Always good to be back here with you and here at MetroConnect once again. Outstanding. So, Glenn, lots going on over there at Light River. Why don't you give our viewers a, uh, a little taste of what's happened over the last year? Well, I appreciate that very much. It has been a great year. It's been another one of, one of our record years. Mm -hmm. Thrilled. Uh, 2020 is shaping up uh, pretty pretty well also. But in 2019 was uh, really exciting for us for several reasons. One, because it uh, we moved into our brand new uh, software development and client center uh, in the Bellworks facility in New Jersey. Uh, the old original uh, home of Bell Labs trans, uh, Transmission Optical Networking. Uh, in fact, the location where the uh, Netflix software platform was actually born, How cool. you know, years ago. So it's a, it's a, it's thrilled. Uh, so in fact, for many of our employees to be able to come back, but uh, we've got a lot of great recognition for the Netflix platform and and where we've been taking it the last few years. Uh, we've also seen in 9, 2019 um, uh, really the culmination uh, of uh, of a multi year effort to scale. The, the business increased the capacity in all parts of the business across the entire country. We opened our new logistics uh, center in, in Salem, New Hampshire. We opened the new software center in Homedale, New Jersey. And uh, this week, we're actually going live on uh, in just two days with our new uh, upgraded uh, facility uh, in Concord, California, where we'll now have a 40% increased uh, space capacity. And with new uh, new processes in our business, we're actually going to be able to uh, increase our capacity in our factory to, to build factory built networks by uh, three to four times and have the ability now to move approximately a billion dollars worth of equipment and materials through that facility for our clients. All right, Glenn, I think you need to slow down. <laughs> yeah. Lots going on, it obviously. Is. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Um, so I almost hate to ask 2020, obviously 2019, uh, just now in the rear view mirror, but um, 2020 looked as, uh, as, as good, huh? Yeah, yeah, well, very much so, yes. So we were actually, uh, once we finished this facility, we start uh, building out our facility in Salem, New Hampshire, It'll be our second factory built network facility. Um, so I'll be able to provide even closer tighter support for our customers on, in the East Coast uh, and, and other parts of the country. Uh, continue to build out uh, our engineering uh, sales and uh, field support throughout the country. Um, you'll also see us continue the innovation in our, in our product lines. Netflix, you'll see a lot more in the way of capabilities, functionality. We're working on the new whole new user interface, a concept we call Scoreboard, which is much more about the experience our users get when they're using the Netflix platform. I love it. Now, we talk a lot about um, partners. We talk a lot about customers. Um, but you talk a lot about your employees. You talk a lot about your people and you talk about them a lot. How come? Well, it always, you know, everything starts with people. It's uh, people make a business. Um, it's where you start. It's where you finish. And you can't have a great business without great people. But at the same time, because we've got great people, it enables us to have great customers. Um, we do believe that, that ethics and values and, and those old fashioned kinds of uh, items still matter a lot to people. We, uh, we view our role as a trusted technology uh, expert and advocate for our customers very seriously. And if you don't treat people uh, in, in that ethical manner, uh, you know, it's hard to uh, hold on to that moral high ground when you're working with vendor partners and making and recommending technology decisions. And we do have a simple rule of thumb. Uh, in the business, and and one of the th one of those is that if it sounds wrong when you say it out loud, it, it probably is. Glenn, I love it, and thank you very much for for being with us here today. I, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dan. It's always been a pleasure to work with you and your team, and look forward to seeing you again. Outstanding. Thank you, Glenn, and thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV and listening to JSA podcast. We'll see you soon, and happy networking.